And I now give the floor to Her Excellency Ms. Retno Marsudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. The President, I'm back attending the UNSC meeting because I want to be on the right side of the history to defend justice and humanity for the Palestinian. Mr. President, Indonesia remains enriched about the unfolding situation in Gaza. Indonesia is also increasingly very concerned with the evolving situation in the West Bank, with the increasing number of attacks to the Palestinian, including refugee camps. While as part of the humanitarian post, prisoners are being released, on the other hand, almost the same number of new prisoners are being arbitrarily detained in the West Bank. When can this atrocity be stopped? What is to be feared of Gaza, West Bank, and Palestine? Will they have their future? Mr. President, I want to repeat what I've said last month in this room, that the UNSC has a big responsibility to maintain peace and security. For sure, I welcome the UNSC Resolution 2712, and I also welcome the extended humanitarian pause and the release of hostages and prisoners. Out of this small glimpse of peace, we could see hope. Families are reunited and it's reaching those in desperate need. But is it enough? No, it is not sufficient. Humanitarian pause is too narrow and too fragile and will not be able to create a better situation in Gaza. PM Netanyahu mentioned that he will start again full military operation when the humanitarian pause ends. I cannot understand his statement. And I further cannot understand if the Security Council let this continued threat against humanity to happen. The Council must act to preserve trust in the multilateral system. The Council must ensure that the hostilities do not return with vengeance and work together to move beyond a humanitarian pause into a durable ceasefire. Because another day without fighting is a day worth fighting for. A further action is needed to really give a significant impact in Gaza, West Bank, and Palestine. This action should contain, first, to deliver unhindered humanitarian assistance in a swift, adequate, safe, well-monitored, and sustained manner throughout Gaza. Second, to ensure adherence to international law, particularly international humanitarian law, where, where all parties safeguard human rights, protect civilians, uphold sanctity of public infrastructure, particularly hospitals, school places of worship, and the UN places of refugee. Third, the importance of a ceasefire to end all hostilities. Mr. President, do not forget that Palestine has the right to have an independent state based on two-state solution. It is the right time to restart the peace process. As we honor this year's International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people, let us not turn a blind eye or remain silent to the struggle of the innocent people in Gaza whose only sin here is being born Palestinian. I thank you very much.